He has he's been there before. He's been with the team before. Archie Bradley is new. He's much better in the eighth inning. When he was with uh, Arizona, he was an eighth inning guy, and he was a lights out eighth inning guy. He was perfect for that because he's he's not really a, a true strikeout guy. Jose Alvarado, on the other hand, coming from also from Tampa, he can have electric stuff. Also, he was the closer for I think what was it, a month in in Tampa, whatever it was, and he can be a very good closer. Also, Kinsler was very very effective in Florida in Miami last year. Mm. So there's a whole bunch of guys, but I think it's Hector Neris, and again, just like the Boston situation, I think it's Hector Neris' job to lose, but I think what they did in Philadelphia is that Philadelphia bullpen was so bad the last couple of years, yeah. they just wanted to try a whole bunch of guys and try to get some more stability just so they know if this guy doesn't work, okay, we actually have a backup to go to someone else. Yeah, I, I don't really know what's going to happen. I, I had to, If I had to guess, I'd say Neris, but I don't know, and I'm, I'm typically staying away from the Philadelphia situation. I'd rather bet on the Boston situation than the Philadelphia situation this year, and uh, I think it's about the same price as, as far as what you have to pay to get these closers anyway, so I'll, I'll bet on that side. Uh, anything else to add, Alex, in terms of the whole uh, reliever landscape that we have? No, no. Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, you, you need closers, so you can't ignore it. Uh, I think that everyone's just in the same boat uh, with what to do. And uh, again, my recommendation is bid on one surefire situation, uh, preferably up top if you can, um, and just throw a bunch of darts. Especially if you're in a shallow league, they're cheaper and they're easy to do. If you're in a, a little bit deeper league or an AL only league, all well, the more reason you got to get that guy up top and. You know, throw your darts. Uh, there's no reason to pay up for the middle for uncertain situations this year, and the whole middle is uncertain this year. Yep, you just have to grab the ones that are you know we're going to get the saves in the beginning. You know they have the job. And at this point, listen, we're drafting. It's still the beginning of March right now, and we're drafting closers as if we know what's going to go on. A lot of these teams haven't even named their closers yet. This is all speculation. We're going on what was happening in the past. We're going on what type of stuff they had in prior years. We don't know if the changing of the, the de- quote-unquote deadening of the ball is going to do anything. Is it going to make people's sinkers heavier? If it does, Archie Bradley's going to be good. You know, it, there's certain things that you don't know yet, and we don't know yet whether or not the ball has actually changed, because right now in spring training, the ball's flying out of the park already. Well, Alex, thank you for coming on the show after a five-and-a-half-hour <laughs> online auction, uh, which was which was tough. Uh, you know, usually when we do these, you know, you just go straight through, and there's two or three breaks or so, um, but we, we braked for a while because it was being uh, aired on SiriusXM, so we, we go three rounds and break for ten minutes and do the same thing, and it just dragged on here, and then we had a bunch of technical issues, but uh, th- thank you for coming on the show, and uh, why don't you uh, tell everybody uh, what you're uh, doing these days for Fantasy Baseball? Yeah, so thanks so much for having me. It was great to be here. And, uh, yeah, so you can follow me on Twitter at AlexFast8. And then the uh, Sunday Night Baseball broadcasts are fast approaching. You can see my work there on Sunday Night Baseball. I'm going to be doing the pitcher overlays for them, so very excited about that. But until that point, trying to get as many pitching gifts as I can from spring training uh, out into the world. <laughs> so that's that's where you'll find me. Oh, very excited to uh, watch Sunday Night Baseball this year, and and you know my my buddy Alex Fast is doing stuff on there, so I'm really excited <laughs> to uh to to watch the show. Um, Ruben, why don't you uh, plug your stuff? Well, you can follow me on Twitter at MLB Injury Guru, where I'm tweeting out daily updates as they come in from spring training about injuries, who's coming up next a- after injuries. You can also catch my weekly article in Roto Bowler, which comes out during season weekly, and right now it's packed with stuff going on in spring training and again if you want to hear more about it listen to our last podcast with stefania bell she was great she's a great injury person and you know what injuries happen especially to closers look at jordan hicks he's coming off an injury he's healthy now watch out for that and just keep following us for more information all right, and uh, my name is Ariel Cohen. You can find me at uh, Fangraphs, at Rotoballer, at CBS Sportsline. ATC projections are up. And, uh, hey, prepare for your draft and uh, download them. Uh, follow me on Twitter at ATCNY. And, of course, you can listen to me right here on the Beat the Shift podcast. Uh, once again, Alex Fast, thank you so much for coming on the show. And from all of us here at Beat the Shift, see you next time. Thanks for listening to the Beat the Shift podcast presented by Fangress. Follow us on Twitter at beat underscore shift underscore pod.